So we watched the French film Megalomaniac. And, uh, okay, so as a lot of you know, the French like to make more extreme horror films. Uh, they're kind of famous for it. The French extreme horror, uh, you know, thing was pretty big back in like the mid 2000s. They were making a, a decent amount of them that are, are still very um, popular today. And I just I don't feel like we get as many anymore, you know? Mm. Um, but this is kind of a return to that to a degree. What is it? Let's discuss it. Um, so as far as like the plot goes, that's kind of tough because the plot is so basic. <laughs> it really mm. is kind of the whole film. It's just like a, a, a sister and a brother living together in this house. Uh, her brother is like a freaking serial killer because their dad was years and years ago. And he's like picking up the dad's mantle. And she's just kind of like an observer and she like kind of lives there. She does live there, but she kind of like she involves herself, but doesn't. It's a it's a bizarre film for sure, yeah, it and it uses a lot of bizarre imagery. Yeah, and I think okay, this is what I'll say on the film. Did I like it? Yeah. My issue with it is interesting because. On one hand, if I'm taking a casual audience into this, they're going to be like, this is too messed up. This is too hardcore for me. This is too dark. This is too confusing. This is whatever, right? So like a mainstream audience, this is not going to work for them because of all the aforementioned things. But then you've got someone like me who a lot of what this film has to offer to me is it's like hardcore nature mm. and i just felt like even though yes the film is weird and yes the film is dark and yes the subject matter that's being handled is you know uh messed up i just never feel like the film really goes for it exactly like there's no real violence being showed on screen all that much like it is like it is but it isn't right there's no graphic gore mm -hmm. there's no like you know, intense um, brutality in a in a very graphic way. But to most audiences, they would be like, what are you talking about? This film is way too violent. Yeah. This film is way too messed up. You're out of your mind. You need to check yourself into an institution <laughs> immediately. But it's just because that's, for me, that's all this film really has to offer is just how messed up it is because that's like really just kind of all this movie is it's just two really messed up people doing really messed up things the end there's not really something all that deep going on in here there's some cool imagery that happens and you could if you want to dissect this and put a bigger meaning on it but as far as just looking at the film at face value it's just a shock film for shock film's sake for me and it just never really commits itself that hard to the shock. Mm. So it just, it kind of feels like, yeah, it was okay for me. I was just kind of like underwhelmed by like, if you're going to go for it, go for it. Like, screw it. You already lost all your audience anyways. All the mainstreamers who watch this are going to be like, this is too fucked up. So for us, the people who are going to sit there, commit to it. Go hard or go home. That's how I felt while watching this. I just kept, they kept doing things and I was like, can I see? <laughs> can I, can I, can I get in on this action? I kind of love the film. Um, I, I see what you're saying though. I mean, as far as gore, there isn't a t like any visceral stuff that's in your face. But I just think that the film is so dark. I think that yeah. the subject matter is really hard to watch. I think this is the kind of film that requires like some pretty heavy trigger warnings for people. Um, but like you said, most mainstream audiences yeah. aren't going to be watching this. But even like horror fans, like there's still, I think, is a valid enough concern for some trigger warnings with this one because there's some hard scenes to watch. Um, a lot of rape. Yes. And, <laughs> but it, I, I think the reason I loved it so much is because I really love the surreal imagery. Yeah. I loved just a lot of the visuals and how weird things were. I don't 
have a super like I I mean I have an interpretation, but I think this is definitely a film that I could like rewatch and get more information because it does feel like there's a lot of symbolism. Yeah, there's subtext um, for sure. And subtext. Yeah. But I just I felt really dirty watching it. It felt very unclean. Yeah. And it's the kind of like the visuals in this are the kind that stick for me. They end up sticking in my head. Yeah. Like when we were going to bed, we watched this last night. When we were like going to bed, I was like looking at the darkness, kind of like I didn't say anything to you to make fun of me. <laughs> the film has a but really, really creepy. dark atmosphere yeah. that I like. The setting is really cool too. It's in this like old house that's like kind of you know, it's old, it's like run down, but there's two people it's big too. Yeah. And there's like two people living in there, but then there's just lots of other things that you're like seeing in the house. You're like, what's going on? Like, what's happening with that? And I just, I found myself like very disturbed throughout the film. And for me, when I watch a horror film and that's how I'm feeling throughout the film, it's a sign of success. So, you mm. know, even though we didn't get the gore, like in when evil lurks, when evil lurks does both for me. Yeah. Um, this one still, I think just had fantastic atmosphere. Yeah, I mean, okay, couple things on that. Number one, as far as aesthetically, right, I think the film is near perfect. I think just from an aesthetic standpoint, because if I had to compare this to anything, I would say that this is essentially like a music video. That's what mm -hmm. it felt like to me. You could put like some really like dark, uh, dark wave music or like, <laughs> um, like uh, dark synth. Or dark, dark something. <laughs> dark EDM. <laughs> sure, like, like whatever. <laughs> that so aesthetically, I think I think the the cinematographer and and the vision for the film aesthetically works. I think that's like a ten out of a ten, right? So I think that's a I think that's phenomenal. Number two, do you feel like because okay, as a man, I I can only feel a certain level of disgust and um violation hmm. towards all of the abuse towards women in like the rape yeah. and all of that stuff right like yeah. i see it and it's horrible and it definitely does not make me feel good i'm not like enjoying it but because there is there is a bit of a disconnect from me as a man because i yeah. think a lot of women's worst fear is being raped and that's just not really a fear of mine. I don't want to be raped. Yeah. But because it's not something that's super prevalent to my life, right? If I was in prison, maybe I'd it's feel so, different. I, the, you know, and you know that's what I mean? so funny too, because it's like, guys, like, so you as a man don't fear rape until you're forced to be around other men. Like, that's what it feels like to be a woman. Sure. You have to be constantly afraid of being like, not. I mean, pretty much constantly afraid of being raped. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that the film has a a definite, like, if you're a female, if you're a woman watching it, there will be more visceral reaction yeah. than if you're a man, perhaps, because there's rape, there's some kidnapping stuff that happens, and, you know, all of those things, there's a lot of violence towards women. Like, the film is, like, very violent towards women, yes. and there's not any redeemable female characters, really. Um Maybe one, but not really. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that that impacted me. I think that definitely added to the unease that I felt watching everything. But I also was really... <laughs> and she loved it and I was whatever but, on it. That's funny. You know, I just, I, I thought that it was scary. I thought it was really scary and it freaked me out. And I was also like very curious because there's like some mental health things that are going on that I just was like, I could not get to the bottom of. And I really liked the last shot of the film, like the ending part. Yeah. I thought that was all super cool. And it just felt very scary. I mean, I, I, I wish I had a better adjective. My head kind of hurts, so I'm like not as yeah. um, eloquent as I'd like to be. But, you know, I think that there's, I mean, the dialogue that happens in here, there, it's not like there isn't any story. Like there is a story happening. There's stuff going on. As surreal and weird as it gets, I didn't feel lost in what was happening. I just had like questions about the why, and but I think that it's a really artistic film. So yes. I understand you comparing it to like a music video. 
that makes sense to me, but I just, I liked it, loved it a lot. Thought it was really creepy. Yeah. Don't, I love, like, it's definitely one of those films I'm like, oh, I love this, but I was like, I don't like it when it was happening. I was like, I don't, I don't like this. This is not, this is not okay. This is scary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> because it's not just, like, them. There's also these, like, um, beings right that are in the film right. yeah uh and their look is is terrifying terrifying it's to her terrifying and i liked it as i said if i if i was to just put this movie on in the background as like um like an art piece right an art installation as you said before where you're just you're visually seeing this thing it it it, it is aesthetically pleasing it, it, in a very dark way yeah but i just I never connected to any of the story and like what was going on with that. Cause like, I did no idea what was happening with like the father in the past and his relationship. I think I kind of have an understanding of it, but I never really connected to it. And then, as I said, most like, yes, you see some things on screen. It's not like you, everything's cut away. It's not, but I just, I would have liked the violence to be ramped up if we're going to go in this direction. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I just, I, that's, uh, that, I'm not going to reiterate myself. That's, yeah. that's all I have to say on the film. Yeah. I liked it though. I liked it. I mean, yeah, I think it's rad. It's definitely, I think it's a really, really cool film. Um, I don't know what to compare it to really, but I, I mean, like I recommend it. <laughs> I think it's definitely worth a watch, especially if you like extreme horror. Because it is an extreme horror film, even if it's not as gory and graphic as you would have liked. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it'll be way too much extreme. for a lot of people. It's extreme. And even with, like, so, like, the violence, too, because, like, there might not be, like, there is visual stuff happening. Yeah. But I just remember there's a lot of, like, sounds. Like, mm. the sound. Because yeah. as much as it's good to see gore. I think that there is something to be said about the other senses, which really is just like sound for us when we're watching a film. Um, but it can, I don't know, it can definitely add a lot to it. Sure. You know, so I recommend it. Yeah, I mean, I still recommend it for anyone who's into like extreme French films. Um, I just don't want you to think that you're going to get violence on the level of martyrs or something. No, it's not right? that. It's not that. It's definitely and not that's that. what I would want. Right, is, because that's a super dark film yeah. with a really, really messed up plot and a lot of horrible, horrible violence towards women. It has, you know, so there's a lot of similarities there, and that's true of a lot of French extreme, right? Whether it's inside or it's, you know, uh, high tension or any of those films, like there's a lot of really over the top violence to women. Yeah, which is not. Great but which is the same of fucking all horror for yeah. the most part. <laughs> Slasher movies, women get brutalized right all and left. So do men, though. Yeah. So do men. In fact, I've, I've stated before, I think men even suffer worse deaths I mean, than women in, in American slasher films. You know, it doesn't, like, men, women, like, seeing anybody getting, like, tortured and hurt. It's you horrible. Know, like, it's awful. I think of the course. only thing that, like, trumps it is, like, if you see a child. Or an animal. Or an animal. An animal. Like, anything that can't, like, defend itself as well. Yeah. Um, which for a lot of people, that's why wa it's hard watching women because women are not, you know, as easily able to physically defend themselves. But yeah, it's a cool film. It's really cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's, it's a recommendation. It's just, per, you know, bring down your expectations of what this film is a bit. Unless you're somebody who's already sensitive, then this is going to be too much for you. Yeah. And you'll be saying, Jason, you're out of your fucking mind. This movie is too hardcore. Yeah. Seek help. <laughs> I will not. All right, because I'm a megalomaniac. Whoa! Ah, I brought it He's all the way maniac. back around. A megalomaniac. All right, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>